Over our first three years, several segments of the zoo files have been devoted to the effort right here in North Carolina to save one of our nation's most endangered species, the red wolf. Recently, the North Carolina Zoo participated in an experiment that may prove to be one of the most innovative and effective ways to ensure the future of the red wolf. In what is believed to be the first attempt to introduce captive-born red wolf pups to a wild mother, two wolves born here at the North Carolina Zoo have been placed with a female wolf raising her own young in eastern North Carolina. Chris Lasher, one of our red wolf keepers, tells us more about this new approach to wolf conservation. On April 21st, we had six pups born here at the North Carolina Zoo. Two of our pups here, one male and one female, were uh, brought out to that wild mother for her to, to raise in the wild. We tracked the wild mother by using the radio collar that she wears, and we walked into a big wheat field, found the wild den, put the two captive pups here from the zoo in with the uh, two wild pups that were there. She returned to the den and is now taking care of both her uh, wild pups and the two captive pups that we put in there with her. This is the first time that captive uh, red wolf puppies have been put into a wild situation. If this works, and it seems to be working real well right now, it's a great opportunity for us to put uh, genetic material into the wild population. If the transfer of the zoo's red wolf pups proves successful, it will provide another method for enhancing the genetic diversity of the wild population. You can learn more about this effort on our special educational website, nczooredwolf.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney.